Okay, so today is August 27, uh, 2013, and Karen's going to demonstrate for us uh, some of the features on the, um, this is Series 9 Ultrabook by Samsung, and uh, give us some basic uh, uh, run-through, or how we say test drive on it and how it works. Tell us about the specs, Karen. All right, well, it's a 15-inch screen. Um, it's got an i5 core processor, a 128 gigabyte SSD um, with a lit backlit keyboard. It's got eight gigabytes of RAM. Um, let's see, we've got um, a few uh, little ports here. Um, this one is just for the power cord. This one is a USB 2.0, so there's one USB 2.0. And that's on the left side as you face the, you should face the machine, right? Mm-hmm. And the headphone or the audio jack is right here. Here is an HDMI port. You would need to get a converter for that. An adapter. An adapter. A mini adapter, mm -hmm. right, for HDMI. Yes, and this one is for an Ethernet uh, connection. You'll notice that there is no the Ethernet connection here in the right. back. It's so too show thin. us where it shows because we do have the adapter for that. Put yes. the adapter up there so we can see so it. We've got this. You adapter. see, it's very small. You see that? Mm -hmm. All right. So that just fits right in there. Go ahead and put it in there so everybody can see how, how, how. Uh, okay. There you go. All right. So that's that. Okay. All right. Now and let's go around over here. Ethernet cord. Yeah. All right. So there's the Ethernet cord that you can plug in there, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Just plug it in like that. Okay. Now let's go over here. Okay. The other side. On the right side, right here, we have a uh, VGA. Uh, a Port where you would have to get an adapter for that. I yeah, think. well, put your finger on the VGA so everybody knows what you're talking about. Let's see. There, that's right. That's for the VGA adapter, mm -hmm. right? Right. And next to that, you have, and you can see the symbols for it. Those are the symbols for a 3.0 USB. You got yes, two of them. Yes, we have two. Three. Sometimes they're blue coated, sometimes they're not. These just happen to be blue coated for convenience, okay? Yeah. We can also tell because it has the SS here. Yeah, at the end, that's right. Mm -hmm. That's right, okay. So we do have the two. 3.0 USB ports. We also have right here All right. an option to put in a SD card. Go ahead and put it in there so yeah. people know what the heck you're talking about. All right. It kind of clicks right in there, right? Mm-hmm. And you can pull it out. Okay. Now that's a that's a 32 gigabyte, right? This is a 32 gigabyte extreme. It can go up to 128 gigabytes right now. Yeah, and the extreme is the fastest uh, disk that you can buy, right? Right. So even though this has 128 of solid state, you can add actually, in effect, another 128 of solid state uh, in this slot that you have there, right? Yes. Okay, very All good. Right. Now All we'll right. go over the function keys. All right. All right, you can see there's F1 through F12. In order to use the function keys, you will have to use this function button right here and hold it down at the same time as you hold a function key. So go with the first one first. Right. What's that for? So that is for Samsung's easy settings. That'll open up a separate screen that on your monitor that'll just talk about different settings you can change. Yeah. Well, most people don't use that. Yeah. By the way, while we're while we're on settings and that sort of thing, uh, I'll tell you this machine, uh, Windows 7 uh, Home Edition, um, comes with either English or Spanish, which is nice. So um, you can move it uh, throughout America on mm -hmm. on this machine. So um, that's a built that's built into the into the Windows Seven. Right. Okay. And what's next here on the function here, keys? F two, which is lower. Don't say F two with the symbol. See that symbol there? It looks. What is it? Okay, go ahead. What is that symbol? What does it look that's, like? It looks like a sun. Yeah. Well, that that turns the screen brightness, doesn't yes. it? Yes. All right. Yes. So that's what that's, that's for, right? But it is F two, and then for F three, it's raising the screen brightness right but you want to see what those symbols are did you take a photograph of these things so people can see exactly what they look like not the function probably ones, probably want to probably want to do that okay what's next okay the next one is the switch display devices that is if you want if you're using another monitor if you want to um, switch to a different monitor you just push that or you can use both monitors my first powerpoint uh, presentation mm -hmm. what's next Next is turn the touchpad on or off. Right, and that's this guy down here, so you don't you're not moving things around so much, right? Mm -hmm. What's next? All right, this is mute. Yeah, right. This is lower your audio. And 
lower the volume. This is raise the volume. Right. Okay. And this is uh, to reduce the keyboard backlight br brightness, which right. you won't notice unless you're the in lights the dark are out. Room. Exactly. Because automatically, when the room lights up, it turns off automatically, which saves on battery. Because keyboards that light up use a lot of juice; they take a lot of power. Right. Mm -hmm. Way to conserve it. The next thing has to do with the fan noise. Well, yeah. Also, this one is to for the backlight brightness up. Yeah, to bring keyboard. it up, right. But this one is silent mode. This reduces the CPU speed to minimize fan activity. So right, yeah, again. Saves power. Um, this is to turn your wireless uh, on and off. Wi-Fi, right. Yes. And you can actually use this. If you push this and then push these buttons, you don't have to hold down this little function key. The function key, right. Right. Right, right. okay. All right, so I think we covered mo 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 most of the uh, the basics that we have here. And a lot of the things that, that are unique here are all based on the fact that this thing is so skinny that you can't have like this big old, you can't have like this big old uh, um, Ethernet cable plugging into something that's this, th that's this thin. Okay? Uh -huh. All right, very good. Okay, now because this laptop is so thin, uh, it doesn't really have room for a CD drive or a Blu-ray drive or a DVD, so you have to buy an external one. We have this Blu-ray disc player. You want to plug it into these USB 3s because they are faster and have no, more power. No, they're po more power. They need and the power to drive the disc, have right? More power, right? And they are faster. Okay. Yes. So there you go. Um, so this thing yeah. is ready to go. So that's how that works. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. All right, very good. Excellent.